Gator Pit Custom Barbecue Pits. My name is Rich. I'm going to walk you through a custom trailer rig that we just completed for a customer here locally in Houston. This is a quarter inch thick wall, new, new steel. It's 24 diameter by 48 inches on the double door main chamber. We have a 24 by 24 by 36 tall upright smoker with dual birdhouse type smokestacks. We have stainless steel handles on all these doors. Doors locked for safety and security. We use, uh, let me show you these locks here. Instead of a long rod, we actually use plate locks. One lock will lock these two doors here. And then we use the lock here that will lock the upright door so it doesn't open up. You can also lock them for safety. Here's what the plate looks like. That actually fits over that. Run a pin through it, secures it. It's pretty simple, it's convenient. It's better than a rod running through there or any other locking device that I've used or seen over the years. It's simple. You have a solid plate, full length, 12 inch front shelf. This front shelf is going eight feet long, 12 inches out from the pit. Solid plate, not the expanded metal. It has a one inch ledge or lip on it rather. We weld in, fabricate it, you can see here. Gives it kind of a bull nose look, almost. Custom, custom again. You won't see this on a lot of these guys that build these pits. They just put the plate up there and it's just a plate. It doesn't have the lip on it here. Gives it a nice custom, custom quality touch. All the way down, rounded corners. You can see here it even goes around towards the firebox. Nice and clean. We have our wraparound shelf over the firebox. <clears throat> Use the top of the firebox to heat radiating from that steel. Warm your foods up, beans, sauce. We extended it over to the storage area, giving you a little prepping area, a little additional shelf space to use back here. You can cut meat back here. It measures the shelf itself over the firebox is two foot by four foot. You've got a full length angle framed expanded metal wood storage area. Six feet long. Put your easy ups in there, your chairs, tables, wood, charcoal, whatever you want to carry. Get a better view there going down front to back. There's our birdhouse smokestacks. Anybody's putting these on their pits, they're copying mine. I've been doing these stacks now for well over 15 years. Since around 1991, actually, I was doing these. This is kind of my signature stack, a little trademark. You see these on a pit, chance stars mine. Again, unless somebody decided they want to copy it. I'd be flattered if they did. Wouldn't be mad. Quarter inch thick, still upright. You can see the wall thickness here at my door. It's a quarter inch. Heavy duty, half inch rod handles that we fabricate in my shop myself. Stainless steel cool touch handles. Don't rot, rust, crack, break. They're not gonna come off your pit. You know, I got to replace them over the years. It's just pretty dang cool if I say so myself. Upright's entirely quarter inch. You got some competitors out there that build these out of eighth inch plate. That's way too thin. It warps on your bows. It's not going to be level. Doesn't retain heat. Just won't cut it. Not on a big pit like this, it won't. Entirely quarter inch thick steel, fully flanged door. Doesn't leak. We flange it around to minimize any type of leakage. We make them as tight as you can get them. Stainless steel handles on both, <coughs> excuse me, the upright and the horizontal main. You get two on the upright. In comparison, a lot of my competitors or other pit manufacturers only put one handle to lock your door. It doesn't give a tight seal. I'm standing with my Gator Pit commercial industrial gauges. 100 degrees to 500 degrees. Color coded uh, temperature ranges, smoke, barbecue, and grill. Nice clean welds all the way down. Full welds. We're not stitching the shelf on there. We're not tack welding it. It's a full bead all the way down. Eight feet of beads, eight feet of weld. 
Here you see at the firebox, we put a one inch flange here, lip to do the transition from the 12 inch shelf to your shelf that wraps over the firebox. We don't leave a space or a gap there. We fill it in. Angles are 45, nice and clean, buffed out. Firebox is 24 by 24. Quarter inch wall, dial style air intake vents, fully flanged. You can see the flanging here, no gaps. Door also locks. Pull the pin off, open it up. Inside you see your heavy duty angle frame charcoal slash wood grate. It's beefed out. It's as heavy as you're going to make a grate. These things are made to last. We do everything we can to make them last longer, prevent warpage. Boeing under heat, prevent sagging in the middle. It's quarter inch thick steel. Again, gator pit quality. You see the flanging on the firebox door. Nice, clean, smooth cuts, buffed out, grinded down. No jagged edges. <coughs> Again, that large storage area. Look at the ends, the end caps on our pits. They're clean, buffed out, smooth. We sand them down, sand the wells down. The doors are nice and tight. You don't see any gaps. No gaps. You can't even slide a piece of paper in between there. It won't do it because that's how we test them. We actually take a sheet of paper and try to fit it between the door seams. Heavy duty. Door stops, quarter inch thick, angle welded, fully welded, not stitched. Our heavy duty custom gator pit hinges, we make them here in the shop. Fully flanged door seams, look at those welds, just gorgeous. Beautiful welds. Not stitch welded. These welds go all the way around, full beads. All four sides of these doors are fully flanged welded. Let me get inside this pit real quick. We even put flanging on the inside, you can see there on the door, top and bottoms. Gives a nice tight seal on the inside, helps to minimize any smoke heat loss. We do everything we can to make these doors as tight as possible. Here, nice again, nice clean cuts on the inside. You don't see any jagged cuts. Everything's nice and smooth. Got this, this is all done by hand. We don't use any, any rollers to roll our steel. This is pipe, <coughs> brand new pipe. We cut the doors with a settling torch, done by hand. We don't roll steel. Custom quality. Angle frame sliding through trays. See the trays there? Upper and lower both slide out. Hang in place, they are completely removable. The second door is identical. Flanged out on the inside is the first one I showed you. Lower sliding food trays. Full size heat deflectors in here that are quarter inch thick steel. That's all quarter inch thick. Minimize or eliminate that hot spot entirely. Again, nice clean cuts. Beautiful welds. Only from Gator Pit. We take the time. We put the attention in the detail. We put a little love in our, in our product. We take pride in what we do walk you around you can just see the quality of all this notice the angle corners welded buffed out rounded no sharp edges reinforced shelving again from the back use that as your cutting table put your cutting board on top of that steel fenders trailer rated tires we insulate the wires on our lights. You don't have exposed wires. We cover them up. The wires actually run through our, our quarter inch thick square tubing. They're not exposed. I'm not gonna crawl into the trailer and show you. You have to take my word on it. But the light wires actually run within the square tubing. So the only wire that you see is what's here to this light. That's six or seven inches. And we even insulate that to protect it. There's no wires exposed along the trailer until you get to the actual coupler up front. 
And you can see here where it comes out, the square tubing to your four-way plug. We use a two-inch coupler up front. I don't make any turbos less than a two-inch coupler. You got a removable swivel jack wheel. You got a heavy-duty bulldog jack. It's a top line screw jack. <coughs> Again, gator pit quality. We use Dexter axles made right here in America. Our trailers are beefy, reinforced. At any of the stress points, we reinforce them with quarter inch straps. This is a stress point on any trailer that V's in, toes in at the tongue. We make sure that you don't have any problems with it, stressing down the highway. If you look under here, there's also a two by two square tube, quarter inch thick steel that runs all the way across that to the other corner. This trailer is not gonna break on you. Going on down, <coughs> you can see where the upright's welded to the trailer, all quarter inch plate. You don't see any seams at all where the pipe and the plate meet. We fill it in with weld, come back, buff it out nice and smooth and clean. Again, just custom quality. Looking at the shelf again, one inch flanging goes all the way around the shelf, gives it a nice clean, smooth look. Your steel fenders, your heavy duty trailer rated tires, your Dexter axles and trailer parts. Steel skirting, you don't see the trailer frame under here. We hide it by running that steel skirt all the way down. Pit's completely welded, there's a two inch drain down here for your grease drain. Again, I'm not gonna get up under the trailer to show you all that. I don't care to get uh, on my back. Take my word on it. Let's get to this upright. You've got four angle frame sliding food trays. This thing sliding out. Extremely easy, makes it easy to access your meat. All four of them are interchangeable. The only tray that has a tab on it is the bottom one. We do that because you can't get your finger up under it to pull it out like you can these top racks. That's easy to pull out. I don't put these tabs on all four racks because what's gonna happen, again, this comes with experience, not only as a pit designer and builder, but also as a cooker. You're gonna go put your foil pan in there and go to take it out, in and out, and you're gonna hit the bottom of that foil pan with it and all your juices are gonna go spewing everywhere. It will rip a foil pan up. We try not to cause or allow that to happen by minimizing where we have to put these. That's why I don't have them on there. In case anybody wants to know why, I do it for a reason. Everything Gator Pit does on its pits and its designs are for a reason. Just a gorgeous pit overall. It's a big pit. You can get about 12 to 14 briskets in here. That's full size packers. You can load it up. It will hold a lot of meat. Great for competition cooking. Great for catering. Get you a little extra money on the side. Walk you around it here. Give you a 360 of it. Solid plate front deck. That is solid plate. We don't expand and metal it or leave it open. Gives you an area to store ice chest. Hold gear on it. Plenty of enclosed storage. Passenger side, six feet long. Plenty of shelf space. Four foot on the rear. Eight feet of shelf space on the front. Solid plate, bull nosed. Again, this is a 24 by 48 two door. Uprights, 24 by 24 by 36, 24 by 24 round firebox. Close these doors up and give you another view of it.
Beautiful pit. Light's not working in my favor right now. Quarter inch thick square tubing trailer frame. I'm Rich Robin. This is Gator Pit of Texas Custom Barbecue Pits. I own the company. I'm the guy you're going to talk to when you call. I'm the guy that's going to answer your emails when you shoot an email to me. I've got welders that run my shop, build my pits. And me and my wife, Melissa, run the shop. We're who you're going to talk to. I don't have salesmen. I don't want salesmen. They're not going to give you the customer service that I'm going to give you. Give me a call. Be happy to talk to you. Shoot me an email. Gator Pit Custom Barbecue Pits. I'm Rich Robin. Look forward to hearing from you. Look at our website, gatorpit.net. Give me a call. All my contact information, email, phone numbers, toll-free numbers are on my website. Again, gatorpit.net. That's G-A-T-O-R-P-I-T dot net. This is our 2448 with an upright on one of our heavy-duty custom trailers. Thank you.